for your master. He will never leave you. He will always shadow you. Always try to create a situation in which you can grow. That's the duty of your master. And at the time of death, oh, I have seen many sannyas dying. I am watching. And what Osho has said, in, I will play lectures tomorrow, that at the time of death of every sannyasi, he appears in some form and try to help, give him the last push. Because time of death is a very critical, dramatic moment. And I, as I told you, 90% people become enlightened at the time of death. So if you are not enlightened during the lifetime, the master will take the last chance. He comes and kick you at the time of death. Maybe he cross the barrier of mind. No the kick. You need a kick. You take a jump. No? You can jump your ego. You can drop your ego. So that is the last attempt. Master makes a attempt that you should. And then the dramatic moment when you are losing your property, your family, when you are you are leaving everything. If you have little bit of awareness and if you have done little bit of meditation and if you have developed little bit of trust in your master, master will extend his hand to you at the time of death. And if you can hold that hand, he will pull you out of ego and you become enlightened. So majority of disciples become enlightened at the time of death. Because that moment when you are losing everything, uh, you know that you can't save your bank balance, uh, you can't have your house, you can't have your dog and cat and family, you know, everything <laughs> you have to live. You know? So in that moment, if you have the slightest intelligence, you will drop your ego. And you will hold the hand of the master and will pull you back from the ego. So, and you become enlightened. So that is the our last, master last, uh, Attempt. He will attempt throughout the life. He will try that we should become enlightened when we are in, we are still alive. But most of the time it does not happen because enlightenment is not easy. Enlightenment. Uh, the only difficulty is that the only condition of enlightenment is that we have to drop our ego. And we are so super blue <coughs> attached with our ego that we are ready to leave our body but not ready to leave our ego. We can leave everything in the world but we don't leave our ego. So that makes things complicated. No? Enlightenment is not complicated, it's very simple. You are already enlightened, it's, there is at this very moment, only your enlightenment is covered by your ego, clouded by your ego. If you can drop your ego, you can become enlightened this evening, 27th of July, 19th, and 2013 it can be your enlightenment day. No? If you can just drop your mind and ego, but it's not that easy. You will keep, even if Master tried to convince you to drop your mind and drop your ego, with this hand you will leave, with that hand you will again catch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so dropping the ego is not an easy thing. It takes much practice in meditation and master have to work upon you and sometimes he has to shatter your ego, sometimes he has to love you, sometimes he has to be hard upon you, just to make yourself free from you. So his work is very, very difficult. So friends, I wanted to tell you that we are very fortunate that we have a master who is ready to accept so easily and ready to accept the total responsibility if you trust him. From this evening, you can live a free life, free from all worry, free from all troubles. You can just trust and follow few simple instructions. What are the simple instructions? Only one instruction is regular meditation, at least one hour daily. A silent space for yourself where you can be 
with your soul or with your master one meditation meditation means when you are free from the mind and thoughts and for one hour you are cut off from the world and you are in no mind you try to be in no mind that means meditation you can practice any technique but that one hour of meditation is not easy unless you change the whole life style you cannot be regular in meditation that my experience we are, i advise everybody to do whatever you want to do but just do one hour of meditation but it's not that easy unless they change their whole life style they cannot find out in one hour so i have some practical suggestion One practical suggestion is that somebody should inspire you and remind you every day that you have to meditate and give you confidence and give you support. Who can do that job in America? Who has time to support you and advise you <laughs> on daily basis? <laughs> Only Osho can do that. How he can do that? If you listen to him every day. Just for 15 minutes or 30 minutes in a private space, just to listen to him, he will inspire you and he will remind you every day that you have to meditate. Every lecture, you start any lecture, you will end up with meditation, advice of meditation, spiritual growth. So listen to Osho. A few suggestion: listen to Osho, read him on regular basis, so that you have a friend. to remind you on daily basis nobody else in america will take this trouble to remind you on daily basis nobody has time except osho he has 10000 lectures you listen to him 20 minutes 30 minutes or read his books for 20 30 minutes and you will be reminded of that one thing that will help you to do regular meditation this mala will also keep you connected it has a, a great meaning he has not given mala without reason the great reason there is a book available at book stall mystery behind mala and sanyas every sanyasi should read that book why osho has given this mala to protect you and keep you in his energy field and protect your aura and to track you track your consciousness in lifetime even after death see that's why the instruction is that sanyasi is dying that time also the mala should not be removed and it should should be buried or burned with mala it was very specific that after death also don't remove the mala you want to bury him bury him with mala if you follow hindu tradition you want to burn him burn him with mala even at the time of death don't remove mala from his body so it is important it has importance you will realize the importance of mala if you start bearing it for a few months and you do reading of his books and do some meditation then you will never be able to leave this mala without mala you will feel disconnected with mala you will feel connected so second advice is to always bear this mala don't Uh, there is no need to throw it outside. You can keep it inside in your profession, so that you are not you don't draw unnecessary attention. You can keep it inside, but it should be in your body. And this mala, reading him regularly or meditation daily. This and all for all this, you will need inspiration. You will need energy, and that energy will come to you from satsang. So time to time, come in this type of gathering or visit commune or show Buddha field. Buddha field is a magic, is a oasis. You should spend every year few weeks in Buddha field. As far as practical, if it's practical for you, every year, otherwise alternate year, spend some time in Buddha field. The Buddha field will inspire you. It will fill you with joy. and dedication and devotion and trust trust is also infectious when you live in a society in a commune where everybody love osho 
you can't help yourself, but you have to love Osho. You have to trust Osho. So love and trust is also infectious. We need a group and that Buddha, Buddha field is the oasis. So my sincere request for every sannyasi that you should spend some time in Buddha field, in commune, and you will get much more inspiration and much more strength and energy. And you will earn so much experience which will may take many years to earn outside the Buddha field. With this simple advice, you can always remain connected to masters. If you just follow this simple advice, you will always remain connected to the master and one change will bring another change in your life. If you just make one hour of meditation, it will change your whole life, your food habit, the way you talk, the way you dress up, everything will change by itself. Life is so interrelated, friend. You just start for, trust me, just trust me for 45 days. For 45 days, listen to Osho on daily basis. He will change your life. Or just meditate 45 days, regularly, one hour, it will change your life. A small thing brings bigger result. Make it Buddha feet in your house. That's my advice. I'm advising all over the world. If they, you don't have a Buddha field in America, you don't have a Rajishpuram or Tapovan in America, you can make a small Rajishpuram in your own home. If you have you can one spare room, a small room for Osho, make it empty, just pick it, keep his pictures, his books only, and meditate or sit silently in that room and listen to him in that room for daily basis. First few days, fix time. You time you, according to your convenience, you fix time. So fix a space and fix time is very helpful, friend, in the beginning. Once you are mature in meditation, you can do your meditation anytime. And once you are more mature in meditation, you can do meditation any space. But in the beginning, time and space is very will make great difference. It will get me great help. So first beginning few days, make a fixed space and fixed time for meditation. At first become free from time, then you can become master of time, any time you can do meditation. And when your meditation becomes more rooted, then even the space is not, does not matter. But in the beginning, don't try in different space. Try to do in same space and on same time. Time in space is very important. Until 45 days? Unless, uh, in 45 days, the, char, the space becomes charged. If you have a small room, even 100, is, uh, 100 is square feet room, not 10 feet by 10 feet room, or even a smaller room, and if you just keep Osho picture and his books, and you sit there regularly on fixed time for one hour, just sit silently and listen to him. If you can't do any other meditation, just sit silently and listen to him. In 45 days, that place will become a Buddha field and that will start calling you. If you don't go to that room in that time, the room will invite you. And when the moment you will enter into the room, you will feel as if you are in the lap of Master. The room will become a Buddha field. So we can make a small business program in each of Sanyasin house. That project and telling everybody in the world because we don't have I mean many country we don't have commune but you can make a small commune in your own house if you don't have a spare room just make a corner in your bedroom specify it for meditation empty room is very helpful because everything has a vibration if you make an empty room just enlightened master picture an enlightened master books you can keep. That will enhance the energy. And you do regular meditation, that room will become the Buddha field. You don't need to make another big uh, ashram. Your room will become a temple of Osho. Your house will become a temple. And there will be less problem in the house. 
I mean, less sickness in the house. The whole energy, positive energy, will help you, and the negative energy will not be able to enter in that house if you make a small room dedicated for master. So, friend, these are the simple advice. This is my lifetime experience. Um, I'm advising my friend all over the world. Rakesh has done it in his house, a room he has dedicated. And he can, I also feel, and he is also feeling, that have changed the whole quality of his house. Samir has done it. He has dedicated a room in 